Okay guys, hello and welcome back to Thumbcraft 2, episode 4. And today I have uh, got a pretty cool episode installed for you. Although I do want to say before we start, um, the reason why I am on top of this jungle tree is because I have installed a new mod. Even though I said I wasn't going to be installing mods on Thumbcraft, although I don't really see this as a mod as such because it doesn't really add any interactive features to the game. Can you guess what it is? Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. You know what it is yet? Yep, that's right. It's Optifine. And um, now that I'm up here, I've never actually noticed this, but what are those things there? They are abandoned logs. Some thumbcraft. Cool. Better go check those out, actually. Youch. Probably should cover that at some point. So, I've made a couple of small changes to the base, and yes, I did take everyone's advice, I did stack these, so I've now got uh, full columns of them, uh, three to be precise, and if each one of them has 500 Vs each, then each column or each stack has uh, 1,500 Vs, so I have uh, roughly about three, 4,000 Vs, which is not bad. Plus I got those stacks over there which is not a thousand, so it's about five thousand Vs on me, which is not bad. And the cool thing is this is all pure Vs. And oh yeah, now you're all probably gonna complain and um, why that's not flooding into them because of the fact that something is in the wrong order or some sort of thing like that. I don't really know or care to be honest. Uh, I just sort of use that for extra space for when that overflows. I think that'll start flowing into that when uh, that fills up or something, I'm not quite sure, although I do need to go V's farming again because I am on my last crystal and I have uh, ran out of crystal for that. And also uh, one issue is that I have got so much tainted crystal now. And um, another thing which people have been complaining about uh, slightly is that um, <laughs> I tend to always throw my crystals into here. Uh, yeah, I do know I do that a lot. Um, I'm not planning to really use the Crucible system that much this series, uh, just because um, of reasons why you can do just use these instead. Although um, I did this, the first couple of episodes because of the one fact that um, I didn't really have any resources on me, and they were the most efficient way of getting crystals because they had more output, sort of. And it just it just seemed wise at the time. Although I got a lot of complaints. So yeah. And I don't really want to spend a lot of time complaining this episode because this is kind of a special in some way. Because I did promise you guys if you got over 60 likes in the last video, which I have got, um, I would do something special. And I'm going to have a special treat for the end of the video, but as you can see, this video is an extra long video. Um, to be honest, I'm not quite sure how long I'm going to make it right about now, but I'm likely to record it in two parts and then sort of combine them into one big video because... If I record any more than about half an hour a day, I kind of get a bit sort of weird and the video quality is not as good. And as I say, I don't really want to spend hours upon hours complaining. But um, one other thing which people seem to always comment about is you need to have coal in this sphere. Um, I do actually have coal in it and I should probably make myself clear. Um, uh, the arcane furnace underneath this, they all say you need coal underneath it for it to work. Yeah, uh, my farm. Um, they all say you need coal underneath it for it to work, and um, I do have coal in it actually. It's just in the video itself you didn't see me input coal to it, and I think a lot of them were saying, but there's no flame things coming out of it. That is because to reduce lag, I have everything on, where is it? I have no idea where anything is on this thing. Um, well, I have uh, particles off. If I were to turn particles on, you would then uh, see the stuff coming out because if you see my torches aren't lighting up or anything wow that went fast <laughs> it turned quick fast although what I want to do to start off this episode is to uh, research a bit because research is a huge part of Thomcraft and I haven't really been doing that much of it although before we do that I have all my items on me um, let's check out my paper so I got a lot of sugar cane from the farm, it is going well. I have had made a couple of minor adjustments to it and I will show you it later on this episode. Although I think let's start off with just the basic paper itself and as I say you get plenty of paper here. 
I mean, you know, I've got more than I need. And let's start off with using all these artifacts here, which I have found in caves and things like that. So let's see, uh, uncommon, common, uh, that's not one, Con common, common, uncommon, forbidden, common, exceptionally forbidden, uh, common, and rare. Interesting. I want to kind of start off with the rare one, and I, I'm probably not going to do that quickly because uh, I don't. I want to put my items in, and I think uh, what I'm going to be doing is what items do I have which I can waste in some way, which are quite valuable. Uh, sort of emphasis on the sort of waste because it's not really wasting, but more of the fact that um, would be good. Oh, cool! I have more sugar cane in there. Didn't realize that. Uh, well, I'm just here as well just throw the paper in here um, but what a lot of people were saying is that I should um, use melons because apparently melons are really good for um, research I'm not sure if that's true or not but uh, that's what I heard but anyway so let's uh, do some research I guess I'll just use the tainted crystals for now because of the fact that um, got nothing really else to use them for because tainted crystals are something that you do not want although I'm probably going to get a million comments saying that they actually are very valuable because um, I did the same with the earth crystals I didn't realize they were of such value apparently but um, yeah so let's say I have a 34% chance of getting this right and with my last chance 75 oh no I got a fragment of knowledge though however so that's good and nope, didn't get another one. Um, success chance is still 34. Lost still that. Oh, got another one, but there's that gone. So uh, let's try and research these then. Only 15% chance. I might bump it up a little bit with more crystals because I do want this to work. No, nope, lost one. It's only still 15% chance. Didn't do much. Nope, I lost them. Um, I'm not sure if tainted crystals actually do help, but I mean, you know, it's, what else can you do really? Might as well do that. Success rate, that's quite a high success rate, mate. And that is not, I would rather not, because that's very valuable. Uh, let's see, I wonder if these help. I, I don't think they do, but. 22, well, no, it's not got risen by quite a bit. Um, actually, now that I have quite a lot of sugar cane, I might as well use it because I'm not sure how well sugar cane uh, works with research, but um, we'll, we'll might as well see. See how much the increase is. So let's see what uh, what was I researching. Where's the thing? Oh, it was this thing. So it's uh, zero, it's thirteen percent with nothing. A full stack of sugar cane boosts it up to fourteen. So that's rubbish. Uh, this was 22 if I added those. Let's try that out. 25, not bad, not bad. Uh, what if I go boom? 22, and eh, not as high. Let's try out some pistons. 22 again. Ah, see, I don't really want to waste it because everything is quite good here. Probably shouldn't use that because they are quite valuable. Um, I have diamonds, but do I really want to waste diamonds? Okay, fine. We'll we'll, we'll do it. I put one diamond in. See how much it does up? Fifteen. Not bad. Not good either, though. Um, still fifteen. Okay, so apparently that does nothing. Um, if you stack them, then yeah, maybe seventeen. Okay, that's not worth it for diamonds. I'm sorry. So let's see, what else could I do? What else could I do? I'll be back. Kind of low on iron because I crafted about a billion pistons out of nothing for some reason. I don't know why I crafted so many pistons, I just did. Okay, so a lot of people will probably complain about this saying I'm using items which I could use for also better research, but I'm going to research with just these because these seem to give me quite a good one. 22, it's not really that good to be honest, but. Uh, Nope, uh, we lost it. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, so let's see what else we can do. So we can use this thing here, which gives us a 16% chance. Uh, tainted crystals in it, maybe? Gives you a 
17 if you split them that gives you 18 and what if I use 5 and 16 that probably doesn't make sense because well it still gives you 18 um, what if you use tainted and diamond 21 not great um, I use a wisp shell I guess uh, I will let's use some common items because they're I think hard or they're easier to do except that's 8 <laughs> Um, we will use some sugar cane, I guess, with a wisp shell. Nine. That's not good. Not good at all. See, I need to get better items, to be honest, um, if I'm doing this, because the items I'm using right now aren't that good. What about enchanted wood? It seems quite high up the list, I would think, anyway. Well, that brings it up to 11. Why don't we get... I'll go and get loads of enchanted wood, see what that does. Okay, so I got a full stack of enchanted wood, and we're gonna try it out in the wisp shell. Oh, that did nothing. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is the best way to go about, um, but I'm just going to do leave this system here for a while. It's got a 14% chance, although then again, it's got like 32 times of chance of doing it. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll try it out, see if it works. Technically, that will just go down as you go up, though, wouldn't it? So, I don't know, it's probably not going to work out. I'm, I'm testing out research here, I don't really know it that well. I'm not sure the best combinations to do, and obviously I um, have very limited resources, so this is kind of all a hunch. So while that's going, as it is, like right now, it's kind of good looking, I will show you the improvements I have made to this farm here. So I can say I've already got 24 of these, which is pretty good. Um, I could make it a bigger farm, but obviously I don't really have the best time to do so. So, uh, as you can tell, what I have done is I've added a door here. I still am mining through here because I think it looks a bit neater. But um, what I've added is I have added one of these uh, growth crystals to here. And I've added some glowstone, obviously, because it's very dark and that one wouldn't grow as fast, which was an issue. Um, also, one reason why I have this here is because the item w of that, that breaks off when um, it sort of it grows by the piston, you let breaks it off. The item of that can get sort of get trapped in here and that's in the range of the swirly thing so it sort of constantly stays on which is very annoying. Sort of similar to the boat issue I had beforehand although it's all fixed now and it's all good. Now if I go through here I've sacrificed uh, two of the areas so that I can fit this system here in because I realized that, um, I'll show you for example here if you go to the very edge here, because this has a hitbox, items can get stuck along the edge like that, and it's not good. So uh, pretty much then, if I, I say pretty much, way too much, um, if I take this wood plank here and put it there, um, if you throw it, it'll have to get sucked along the block, pretty much forcing it to go into the middle bit, so it'll never have that issue. And um, as you can tell, I have installed one of these here and this is a crystal that will improve growth um, of rate and a lot of people were asking why didn't I don't just use the one that harvest them because I don't really want these to be harvested because then I have to go in and replant them all the time whereas this system I don't have to replant them and um, so that's why I didn't use a harvesting system for it because I just didn't see the point in harvesting okay so let's see how this is going on here I've got two fragments of lost knowledge, which isn't bad. I've only used up about half my things, just over half. And it's still at 14% chance success rate, which again isn't the highest, but again, it's not like too bad. So that's going to continue going for a little bit longer, and we're going to try and get a little bit more. Hopefully, I'll get one or two more, uh, depending on my luck, obviously, because it is mostly luck. Um, but if we head out here. And then I want to ex get these three things here a little bit because I'm never sure what these are. Because to be honest, I'm not too. Um, like, even though in my tutorials I seem like I knew the mod quite well, um, I, I don't actually know it that well, to be honest. I'm quite bad. I do tend to sort of read things out loud. But let's see what this is. Because I'm not entirely sure what they are. I'm assuming there's some sort of wood block. Uh, petrified log. I don't really get that. Can it be turned in? No, it cannot be turned into wood. That's interesting. 
And I'm assuming these are like logs that only spawn in swamp biomes, and for some reason it has sand underneath it. I need to speak properly. <laughs> but um, yeah, these logs look interesting. We could try to research them, see how good they are for research. We could try, um, I guess we'll try turn them into the other logs. But, um, like, you know, the um, enchanted wood. Uh, because that would be quite cool. There's another obelisk over there. I seem to find loads of them in this sort of area. Which is interesting. But yeah, so that yeah, I think these spawn in Ah No wait, by the looks of this the wood seems to be turning into the log. So obviously it is it's like almost like taint almost up. I don't know what um people in the comments will probably be telling me what it is um but I'm not sure entirely what it is, but obviously it's some sort of infection which hits the tree, and then when it hits the tree, possibly due to taint due to some other reason, and by the looks of things I think it only happens in the swamp, maybe it's it's uh addition I haven't seen this before to be honest uh, shows me shows how little I've researched the mod and how much how big the mod actually is in a whole because um you know it you know uh, and as or it just doesn't sort of mention anything on his forum page so you do literally have to discover it in order to find it out like for example um this discoveries there's like something like 40 of them or something and I'm just sort of wondering what those 40 things are because they're all obviously of use so <laughs> I'm kind of wondering how th what they all are Cause, I mean I know their items obviously are in them but I've only ever seen like about 10 or 20 items ever like sort of it like being able to be spawned in through me um, you know, doing tutorials and things like that so I'm sort of wondering what they are but let's have a look at what the research system is at ah so I only got two um, but we will continue doing that <laughs> only 8% success rate and once that finished, we'll have a look at these petrified logs. Okay, let's look at these logs though first. Uh, so yeah, obviously, by the looks of things, just instantly there, that was a three percent. So obviously, they don't seem that good. Now it's still only a three percent chance. Let's try enchanting them, or infusing them even. Uh, so a lot of people have been telling me that these aqueous crystals are a lot less valuable than the other crystals uh, so I don't know maybe they are so I'm going to try it now by the looks of things they don't seem to really agree with the wood enchanting I was just double checking to see if that actually was how you made enchanted wood because I kind of forgot even though I made some about five minutes ago I had to forget things so um, obviously these logs don't really seem to agree with anything uh, let's see how well they Smelt, I guess. Um, that's the next thing you'd check. Oh, they don't even smelt. It's pretty much they're just sort of decoration. I don't know why anyone would decorate with them, but they don't seem that useful. Although I'm gonna keep hold of them in case someone uh, discovers a way of getting them, like saying they are useful. And uh, while I'm here, I'm sort of looking at that thing, and I see that everywhere I go now. I think that is a like a glitch inside of the Thumbcraft mod, although um, it should be hopefully okay. But I have been talking for a while now, and you guys probably want to see what the Quasium does with these things. So uh, I think I'm going to do a similar sort of system as last time, because it seemed to be good. I have a lot of Night Tour, actually. Let's see how well Night Tour reacts um oh that's quite high like 15% is not bad so I'm going to use 15 of these uh, I guess I'll use the 2 diamond because I really want this to work it's a 19% chance not good if I lose a diamond if I lose all my diamonds out of this I'm going to go crazy <laughs> oh lost a diamond I'm going to lose my other diamond aren't I oh I'm an idiot oh no didn't lose a diamond Loss rate is uh, 80. Oh, that's high. Youch. And of course it goes. So anyway, 
yeah, I'm going to try out the melon thing, I think, uh, later on in this season. Not right now, because I need to find a dungeon thing for that, or a abandoned mine shaft for that. And obviously, if for an abandoned mine shaft, you need uh, to go quite far in, even though I have been exploring out a little bit and doing quite a bit of mining, um, I, I never came across a mine shaft. So that is something to look out for. And uh, I'm just sort of looking through the swamp again just to double check I think uh, that these uh, these uh, petrified logs only do appear in swamps I'm not entirely sure but they probably do and one last thing we should probably check is can you smell these no you cannot okay well uh, I will leave them in here if anyone um, knows what they can be used for f please do feel free to say in the comments below because uh, obviously I am not 100% sure what they do because the mod is so big. I do know the basics of the mod, like I know the whole crystalline bell thing and stuff like that. Although, I mean, again, I'm not quite sure um, how it all sort of interacts with each other. Because it is such a huge mod, and I've been told not to walk around aimlessly while I talk, so I will try to prevent doing that. Although, what I have been told is that you can actually. Um, grow crystals and obviously the area which I tested out in a creative world wasn't high enough V's because it only happens in high V concentration now luckily the area which I set up my base is quite high as you can see it is almost about say well that's about 75% high so that is good definitely and the reason because of that I think is possibly because I have so much V's here I'm not entirely sure I mean I'm not I, th I think I think they do affect it so I think that is why um, especially right right here it seems to go up really high right here but um, one thing which I want to do in uh, the near future is to make a unlimited V's farm I guess if that is the case and I'm going to be doing some testing this episode now unfortunately I didn't mine out all my V's crystals for these and by mine out I mean use up although I do have one I guess um, although I need a crystalline bell for it to properly work because um, if it doesn't work, like if it doesn't sort of go uh, properly, like it won't, um, like if there's only one, it will work. But a crystalline bell, you can extract them. So I do need to research that first of all. But I might as well test it out, see if you get one from this. Oh, you can't place that. Oh, wait, no, I'm an idiot. Sorry, you can't place that. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> For some reason, I thought I could place one of the ore blocks. You need to craft an ore block. I'm I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll go mining for a little while and try and get some more of these crystals. Um, and I guess it's turning night, so I'll go mining for a while and I'm gonna explore this way a bit because I haven't explored this way before. And we'll see what's out here. I think, is that snow? I see. I think that's snow. Ooh. Petrified logs and the snow biome too. I think that's snow. Okay, so I guess these petrified logs go anywhere then. Yeah, they do. They go anywhere. And I'm assuming these are to do with the fact that um, taint is bad or something, but I'm not entirely sure. So, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with mining now, so see you in a minute. Okay, so I had a good mine there, and as you can see, my furnace is burning away because I am uh, doing that. Are you getting that? It's kind of a weird glitch thing here for me. Never seen that happen before. But anyway, this is sort of the iron type stuff I got here, and gold and cinnabar, obviously. Then if I head to the chest over here, I got plenty of redstone, plenty of coal. My crystals are mostly refilled. And I'm going to put these in the thing right about now. Um, iron will be obviously back up once I get this one in here, which is burning, gone. And we will, uh, as I say, refill these. So uh, put these in here, put that in there. You've got four each, right? Yeah. So it's all good. So this is probably a good time for me to say that I am a noob at Minecraft because. Um, one thing that you all probably were screaming at me when I was doing my research is that you can uh, use bookcases to increase your chance of getting research. And if I get this, yep, I got it back for 
a second I wasn't entirely sure if you got back or not when you break it although um, I need to make a room really I suppose to do it well no I, I know I guess I'll just sort of for now I'll get rid of that and I can uh, do it in a sort of order thing I'll get rid of the bed as well move the bed for now to just one over and uh, then I can simply do that and then this is right right yeah that's right there 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 that should be good and if I put this here yep yeah it does yeah it all goes straight into here so apparently this will increase my success rate now so if I get some items out as I had before shame I sort of used up all the good items I'll get some of that out and uh, I guess I have lots of sugar cane to waste um, as I said before I can use some enchanted wood and um, some obsidian I guess is quite good these golden nuggets I have plenty of gold and the runic essence and I'll take 22 pistons <laughs> just get trying to get rid of items which I don't really need so uh, let's try it out with um, just some plain obsidian uh, it's not really uh, that high is it? No. What about if I use some just those t again not the highest but I'm guessing if we add items to it it'll get a lot higher so maybe if we do that and do that that brings it up to 11 it's still not amazingly high to be honest um, although then again I'm not using that good of items really what's that? that's 20% that's not bad so what we're going to do is we're going to use these two items here as this which is 23% I think it's 23 isn't it? oh maybe a 20, that's 28 okay uh, well 28's not bad I guess um, nuggets 18 what if we combine these here with the nuggets and then that 25 oh, that's, really <laughs> that's really bad uh, what if we do that? 18. Interesting. I think I did that two seconds ago. I think I'm going to risk it and go with this. Because the 28 is quite good. 28% chance. And of course, we lose the first one. It goes down to a quarter, roughly. And again, we lose that. That's great. Night Horror, maybe, now? 19% chance success rate. I like that. Once that goes, it goes down to 11, obviously. 15%, that's not good. Just gonna keep on doing this until I get something. Yeah, so I'm still not getting anything, really. Um, unless we get something in the last two items. Let's see. That goes completely, yeah, uh, then it goes down to 10%. I doubt we'll get anything here, but let's see. Oh, still got another chance. Ah uh, no, there we go. So yeah, research is hard, definitely. Wow, it's really hard. Uh, so for now, I'm going to destroy these bookcases because I know that you're all going to be complaining how I should just keep the bookcases. But I, I do want to move it to a different room, like a research room as such, and there'll be other stuff in that room too. Uh, but for now, I don't really want them here. Um, I'm really no waste wood because I've got plenty of it at least around me I don't think I have loads on me at the minute and I'm definitely no waste, uh, no waste of uh, reeds because i got unlimited reeds now but I think that's all really I'm planning to do for now uh, in the fact that uh, sort of all I want to like do this episode apart from the treat obviously and uh, we're getting kind of into the episode quite a bit so I think it is time for me to show you guys what the treat is okay guys so I was uh, checking the episode's video time and it turns out that we're not actually that far off of a normal episode this like at this point so I'm gonna be doing some more stuff after I announce sort of the treat 
which isn't really a trade, but it's it's I would call it a treat in some way. But um, I'm going to announce the treat now, and we're going to continue doing some other stuff afterwards because I don't really feel like um, it's not really that special. Even though the episode is no special at all, thing I just sort of I kind of just wanted to see if I could get the amount of likes, and I don't want to be one of those people who just like go like, can we get 200 likes? Can we get 500 likes? Um, but like I, I kind of want to offer you something in advance for it because I don't really. Well, like I mean, I guess you could. Um, I don't know. I'm bad at talking, but um, what your sort of treat, so to speak, is, and I should probably move about a bit, because people always seem to complain a bit when I sort of stand still and talk while doing nothing. I do that a lot, but um, I'm still wondering about knowing nothing. Although, what the idea of the next video is that it's your guys' choice. So, pretty much, uh, what is going to happen is that they're going to be like, I want you guys to say in the comments below what you want to do. And uh, then what I am going to do, once you tell me what I want to do next episode, is I'm going to go to random.org and I'm going to randomly select um, like a number, and I'm going to count down to the nearest, like to that number, and see what the guy says. And obviously, some people won't be sit, like just doing normal comments such as like cool video, and they won't be saying what to do next episode. So if it comes out as one of those, I'll just redo it, I guess, until I get a actual one. Um, but I think that's quite cool because I quite like you guys to be involved in the series and choose what to do next. And uh, the one issue with that is, which, like, um, I, I don't want you guys to be like going completely over the top with it. I mean, like, uh, like do sort of reasonable things. Don't make me go like go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon. Um, like, you know, because like, uh, to try and make it reasonable. But I do kind of want it to have that sort of rounding of a randomest choice of you guys I can't speak right now um, but like yeah I want you guys to sort of be involved and I also want that sort of like random chance of it's the viewers choice but it's also any viewers choice so it's not like my favorite choice because if I choose it then it's sort of something that leans towards my liking which isn't really the whole point of it so that is your guy that is your guys what I, I don't know I can't speak yeah that's your guys treat and um look forward to that and I'm looking forward to seeing what people say in the comments so anyway let's continue on with what we're doing next and what I want to do next is the fact that um, over like most of the day and night I sort of edit these parts out or I'm always doing it when I'm AFKing or something but zombies and things always seem to get down here so what I always want to do or what I want to do now is I want to fortify my base a bit and as you can see, I've got nine fire runes on me, which is awesome, because that is enough for three fully functional fire runes. So quickly, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to put runes here, and then put the fire runes around like this, on these sides here. And then, I'm, I'm not sure if I like it, I probably will get used to it, if it looks a bit off-putting right now. Uh, but I do quite like it, actually. I think the runes look like, really look good in this series. But pretty much that what this means is when a zombie comes to my base, he'll get killed. And I also uh, want to put it one somewhere else because I don't really trust it on its own to like do complete and utter damage. Although I don't really know where to put this one to be honest. I don't know actually. We, 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 yeah, I'll leave those two there I guess because I don't really know where else to put it without it making sort of, or without it looking really sort of bad or off centered or something so I guess we'll leave it like that for now but I think it looks really cool and uh, when 1.2.5 comes out uh, when Thumbcraft comes out for 1.2.5 I mean uh, what I'm planning to do is that uh, there's a new seal added called um, well I'm not sure what it's called but I think it's like water and air and earth or something and pretty much what it does is it uh, heals you and I should get out of the way of the thing um, but for what does it it heals you and um, it regenerates you so what I'm thinking of having is those sort of randomly scattered around my base and as such they'll be like almost like a healing sector of my base so if I'm a little bit damaged I just walk up to it healed walk off again and you know I don't know I may have um, like it there and then some other one maybe there other helping ones um, so you know it's, it's a cool idea and I think it should work well. So that is cool. 
Uh, we're going to move on to something else because that was not really that big of a thing. I just sort of wanted to do it and I w said, hey, why not now? There's an Enderman about. I'm going to try and test my new system on him. I pro he's probably ran away. Oh, he has. Oh, that's a shame. You probably didn't hear him, but I, I literally just heard the Enderman teleport sound. Nope, nothing there. Thought I heard something. Obviously didn't. Okay, so I think I have decided what I want to do next in the episode, and that is that uh, this base, um, originally this area here is meant to be a lobby, which I kind of go into to start off with. Although, um, for now I'm sort of using it as my main sort of area because obviously I have not expanded in the base. So what I think I should probably get doing now is expanding the base a bit, and I think that'll be a really cool way to like continue on with the episode. So what I had planned was that there'd be these sort of chunks like this, and there'd be like staircases which I walked down, and I just realised that was that. <laughs> um, I just like and I kind of it doesn't uh, really. That doesn't really suit, does it? No. So I'm going to have to fix that. Uh, how could I fix it? Hmm. I guess I could sort of... No, didn't mean to do that, sorry. <laughs> no, I guess I could sort of... I didn't mean to do that either. Just do what I want to do. There we go. Does that look okay? Hmm. Not sure. And then I'll obviously I'll put a half slap there, might as well do that now. Sorry, I'm kind of thinking aloud here, so if I don't make sense, you know why. Hmm. Does that look good? Maybe... Ah, that's good, that's clever. What if we put it all down one, so it's sort of the same idea as up here. Uh, but, um... I do that there. And then it wouldn't really um, ruin the mix, like the flow. So yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, tell me what you guys think though. Sort of something like that. I think, I think that looks good because it sort of keeps the cutaway section at the top, yet it also makes it seem like it's a three high. It's actually a two and a half high, but it sort of, you know, it gives the impression that it's three high because um, it's higher than your head pretty much and then I guess you'd kind of walk through into here and then what I had planned next is that there'll be a huge staircase leading down into uh, the main area of the base and then there'll be another one on this side which they kind of both link onto the same area if you know what I mean in the end so there'll be um, a section of base here and a section of base there uh, when you go down the stairs and then uh, there'll be another section of stairs which kind of goes diagonally both ways from sort of 90 degrees from here. It's it's really hard to explain. Okay, imagine you go down about 10 blocks that way, and or uh, imagine you go you're about 10 blocks that way, and about I don't know 10 blocks down as well, and then you turn 90 degrees and then go sort of the same the other way. And there'll be like a huge room in there which both staircases lead up to or connect onto or something like that. I haven't really thought it through that much, but I think that is probably a cool idea. And there's zombies everywhere. Probably mainly because it's night time, that would make sense. Yeah, that would make sense. I'm gonna go sleep. And oh awesome, awesome. Almost got the full storage tanks. Going to sleep. But yeah, I think that is a good idea, and I'm bad at speaking, very, very bad at speaking, so I am going to uh, sort of cut this bit out, and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I changed my mind just a smudge, and uh, this is what I sort of ended up with, uh, sort of just to start with, and uh, what I am planning to then do is something like the fact that um, you'd go down here, and then you would make that 90 degree turn and go straight down there 
Um, but instead, I don't think I'm gonna have anything on this side. Maybe, um, maybe, maybe I might, I might have something sort of there for decoration or something. But like, no major room use or something, or anything like that. I mean, uh, I may have, um, I don't know, maybe it's like a full, whoa, uh, have like a full V storage tank, just sort of lying there doing absolutely nothing or I may even have some crystals around to decorate because the crystals will boost the V's in the local area but at the same time it'll also kind of look nice for decoration I think um, but that's just sort of how I am thinking about it um, I don't know, I may come out to have different ideas obviously I won't get this finished this episode even though this is going to be a slightly longer episode although I hope that it does uh, one other thing which I was meant to do earlier on which I never did oh I may not be able to do that actually. What I was about to say I was gonna do was put these like this. But that sort of creating li some lighting bugs which I don't really want. Um hmm. What if I do it like there? Oh didn't mean to do that. What if I do it like there? And then there would be no lighting bugs for that, and then I kind of just do normal stairs here maybe just to create a bit of contrast or like getting the up bit and the down bit maybe uh, no that doesn't look good does it <laughs> no I think I might as well just mm, how, how can I do this what I could do it probably won't look great oh ok so that's the the ah so it's that that's causing the bug. I thought it was the stairs that were causing the bug, sorry. Okay, so um, I guess what I could do then is I could replace these with stairs again. And um, I guess I'd th probably the best thing to do is just leave it like that kind of. If I put wood here, and then it'll kind of go up and then down and then up again. And by up and down, I'm sort of talking about the opposite view so that would be going down and that would be going up even though technically it's going down um, sorry I'm talking to myself again okay so I got this side done and uh, what it is simply is pretty much a wooden decoration and I'm going to be using glowstone as lighting um, because if you haven't noticed I'm sort of going with sort of an etho type base here uh, where I have grass floors, wood sort of walls, indents, stone weird stone floor things and quite a lot of glowstone. I'm trying to get the whole sort of no torch lighting system as you say I do have torches around but I'll probably get rid of those in due time. But I would like to keep most of the base uh, sort of glowstone lit or redstone lamp lit. Uh, I've got the same sort of, uh, sort of stripe design here going on down with the stone brick stairs. Uh, the one thing I'm not entirely sure about is this bit here because I don't really like the way it sort of suddenly turns into stone but it doesn't look bad I guess it, it's a way to do it it looks better than just the stone bricks or the stone stairs randomly starting another idea which I could have is I could have this stair here wood and this stair here wood so the stone stair stripe would sort of be in the middle of it without with it kind of like blending into the wood again although I think this way is fine um, so yeah, and for the decorational piece in the middle here, I've sort of rethought it through and I've got another idea and it's not really decorational, it's more of practical, where uh, one of the regeneration seals, which I told you about a minute ago up there, um, I will put one of those in here and pretty much as I walk down the stairs I'll get a burst of genera regeneration so if I'm a bit damaged I'll pretty much never be in that much damage. That didn't make sense, did it? No, it didn't. I <laughs> I don't do that much often, but um, that didn't make sense either. I didn't do that much often. Wow, I'm bad at speaking today. It's very late. Um, but one thing I'm still sort of considering is if I should have it indented or not, like this. Um, obviously I can't actually place it because it doesn't exist in the mod yet, since I am playing in 1.2.3. Um, but um, I I don't know. I'll think about it when the time comes and uh, what I'm going to have to do at some point is mimic it like mimic this design over to that side and um, do pretty much the exact same idea and 
one other thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing sort of another sort of mimic in some way but down this way in sort of that direction and then obviously I'm going to meet the two places up or I'm not sure quite how I'm going to do it what I'm thinking of doing is I'm having two separate rooms and then they kind of link into you like a middle room or something I'm not entirely sure I haven't thought it quite through yet obviously if I am going to mimic it on this side however I am going to have to move all this stuff but it's cool because I will be moving it anyway in some point because everything in this room is mostly temporary and um, I may keep a couple of features like I quite like this sort of thing here um, unfortunately they are kind of going down instead of going up because it's very awkward to control what like V's goes where although in the future with the um, whole pressurized system it'll be a lot easier and um, if you haven't watched direwolf's thing by the way he's like a, a mod review on the next 1.2.5 version of Thumbcraft. I highly suggest you check it out because he does describe the whole pressure system very well in my liking in a way so I understand it quite well um, I haven't tried it yet obviously but it's cool okay so I got the next part done and uh, for now it is kind of completely mimicked and it's got some glowstone there glowstone dust um, but obviously in the near future I will be expanding this to a sort of a huge building I'm probably going to change the bottom of that completely and obviously off camera I will mimic it on the other side um, but it is pretty cool uh, what I have changed slightly is I decided to uh, redo the uh, ceiling a bit by making it also mimic the floor um, with the sort of stripe of uh, stone stairs which is awesome and uh, one thing which is kind of a stroke of luck kind of is that the grass in this area here is jungle grass so it's that really nice sort of juicy green grass which I think everyone likes uh, which is awesome and fully awesome in every way possible so uh, what I am thinking of doing maybe in um, not next episode because it's viewers choice next episode unless he kind of the by chance the viewer sort of wants to do something similar um, but um, what I am planning to do in sort of the nearest future an episode or two in the future um, what I'm planning to do is make a sort of a storage room, a V's tank room, such as a, a collection room, sort of like this, like full of tanks and uh, condensers. I'm probably going to move the uh, reed farm for now because it is sort of in an awkward place a little bit. Um, and that's really it. So I think it's coming to the unfortunate time where I'm going to have to end the episode. And episode 5 will be out, uh, well I'm not really sure when it's going to be out, it sort of depends on how hard the task is I guess, um, but hopefully it should be out in a couple of days after this. So until next time, see ya!